April 14, 1865, Anderson returned as General Anderson to resume command of Fort Sumter. Another intriguing theory for your consideration. Now let's go to Africa, the year 1942, and the Phantom Army of Mount Kilimanjaro. Paul Smiles was an officer in the British Regiment, stationed in Nairobi in Kenya. But he was due for a furlough, and he was anxious to go lion hunting in Tanganyika, specifically at the foot of Mount Kilimanjaro. A native guide led him to a shooting stand and said that there was a pride of lions that was no longer being protected because they had been hunting native stock. So, one night, Sale set himself up in that shooting stand and waited for the lions to come down for a drink of water. And sure enough, at nightfall, he spotted the pride, and he took aim at one large male lion with a dark black mane. But before he could get his shot off, other shots rang out, and that scattered the pride. He had missed his shot, and he was furious. He came down from the shooting stand and grabbed the native guide by the throat and said, why did you cause me to miss that shot? And the guide took him to a field, a graveyard in the African belt, thousands of grave markers. And he told him a story that back in 1917, on that very night, there was a bloody battle between German and British troops. The British troops, badly outnumbered, were basically slaughtered. And he says that every anniversary of that battle, phantom shots, are heard as the case on that night. It was as though those men who died so tragically, so prematurely, so violently, cannot leave the sight of those terrible deaths. Now, skeptics might say this is pure imagination, but consider that the lion, totally objective participants in this scenario, heard those shots and scattered, and they didn't have any preconceptions about ghosts. That's the story about Phantom Army, of Mount Kilimanjaro. Now, until next time, may the power of the cosmos be with you. Yes, yes, yes.